Today I am going to extract pure capsaicin from these chilies. This is actually an easy one you could do at home, but keep in mind that pure capsaicin is dangerously spicy and can cause extreme pain if it touches your mouth or other sensitive areas. In any case, I begin by loading a ton of these peppers into a blender, and at first I tried to blend them dry. This doesn't end up working very well, so I added some isopropyl alcohol which really sped up the process. Since this seemed to be working well I simply continued adding more peppers and isopropyl until I felt I had a good amount of pepper slurry. Next I transfer my pepper slurry to a 1000 milliliter beaker and do a few isopropyl rinses to make sure I get it all. The isopropyl is used because it will extract capsaicin alkaloids and derivative terpenoids without extracting any other plant material. The exception is that orange beta carotene will also be extracted, and while this will discolor the final product it has no significant impact on purity. In any case I go ahead and pass this mixture through gravity filtration which will remove any plant material from my extract. Once this finishes, the final step is to allow all my isopropyl to dry off. This is done by transferring my liquid to a drying dish and leaving it under a fan. It actually ended up requiring two days to dry, and you could probably speed this up in the oven at very low heat. In any case, I'm eventually left with nearly pure capsaicin. Feel free to sample a very small amount if you're brave enough but be careful to not get it on your hands. That's it. Follow for more.